Hey, Rumi. Yes, so, uh, yeah, the good old days. <laughs> the good old days. I have shared rooms with this guy. In case you don't know him, it's Paul. You need to know Paul from uh, all the races around the world. He's uh, probably the best photographer. Are you taking that title? Uh, if you're offering, I'll take it. There you go. That, that's how easy you get a title. You just ask me, I'll give you a title. That's not a problem. Hey, Paul, in Frankfurt now, um, another stellar field that we're expecting uh, amazing, here. Amazing, amazing. And, and I mentioned this to you earlier. I had not planned to uh, come to Frankfurt this year, but when I saw the field, it was a very easy decision. I mean, we certainly have three of the top or the three top long distance guys in the world. And hey, the women, not too shabby either, eh? Well, we've got Daniela and Caroline, and uh, we've got Michelle Vesterby, and Julia Geyer, and Anya, oh, I'm going to mispronounce her name, Bonacek. Baranek. Baranek. Close enough. Yeah, sorry. But it's going to be an amazing race. Um, you know, also, as we were talking earlier, as an editorial photographer, it's pretty easy for me to make decisions on what races. I look at the best venues with the best athletes because those are the images that are going to be in the highest demand by the publications. So that's why I'm here. Hey, how much is your work skill and how much is it preparation? Like, can you just go out there and like shoot a gazillion pictures and one will work? Or how much prep work goes well, into a race? I, I do, a, as you know, I do a huge amount of prep work. I, I will be out on the course on the motorcycle tomorrow. Uh, I've done this course twice, so I know the course, which is do, shooting it twice is four laps. But tomorrow, in addition just to identifying spots, we identify uh, distances. And I have spreadsheets that give me estimates on when the men are going to be there, when the women are going to be there. If there's a gap, we identify shortcuts that we can take back to pick up the women's field after being with the men. So everything is really detailed planning. You know, there's it's skill, it's planning, it's the right equipment, and then the important part is every shot is a lucky shot. Because if nothing happens, there is no shot. You see, and there I was thinking you just one of the guys with 365 days of vacation all over the world, but that, that's what people say about me. Me too, you know? me too. I have friends in, at home in Minneapolis that go, oh, aren't you excited? Did you have three weeks to tour Germany? And I go, well, yeah, except for those every day, at every day when I'm working. Hey, I counted earlier today, you have exactly three and a half more gray hair than me. Yeah, about, um, about. I, I got to ask you, what is so awesome about your job that you actually just keep going? I mean, you know, you, you got a bit of gray hair, you got the Terminator knee over there, you got a I'm second getting, Terminator yeah. knee coming, but you just keep going. Well, it, you know, there's a big part of it that's the people involved in the triathlon community. Uh, I've been extraordinarily lucky to, you know, be one of the top photographers and be welcome at the top races and have great relationships. And, you know, there's also a certain carnival-like atmosphere in that we see the same group of guys all around the world. And it's, you know, the events are great. I have the best seat in the house. I'm on the back of one of the lead motorcycles. Uh, but it's really the amazing people that keep bringing you back. You know? Yeah. Hey, and you said it's it's like one big European party. You know, we're actually going sort of on a road trip right, from here. Right. Right. Um, we're gonna meet next in Roth. Right. And yes. then, in, are you going up to Hamburg? I'm not going to Hamburg. Okay. I'll be in Zurich. Okay. I'll be in Zurich. Uh, right. Right. Um. Hey, since you're the pro, you know, what's the, what's your style guide? Um, also for the age groupers, if they want to have a cool picture, you know, there are certain no goes. We've seen it with McCormick, for example. Toss those sponges before you cross right, the finish line. Right. It just looks ridiculous. So what's your, your top uh, style tips for a good picture? Zip up your race kit before you get to the photographer. And if you're out there on the course and want a good race photo, don't smile and wave at them. <laughs> Stay down in your aero bars and look like you're racing. All right. I had a new pro that, uh, what race was it? It was... Uh, I can't remember what my last race was. It wasn't that long ago. It was just a few weeks. I don't remember where I was. Too many races. Uh, oh, I was in Colorado at Boulder, 70.3. That's like two weeks ago. And uh, it was a new pro. And every time she went by me and I was on the side of the road, uh, she'd w smile and wave. And I go, no, no, that's not the idea. So. All right, so you don't do that. Yeah. And then, of course, very important, sunnies. 
up, on the head? Up or on your head. head. Up on your head, yeah, all right? Yeah, we want to see the eyes head. for the picture. Yeah, right. Hey, I, I didn't talk to my guys um, at all when they're going to cut this and, and screen this, but it yeah. doesn't matter. Either you're right up front or we'll trash talk you afterwards. It doesn't yeah. matter. But uh, since you've seen everybody and everything uh, out there racing, I need your, your tip. Winner. Winner is good enough men's and women's race uh, well, in Frankfurt. You know, I'm not going to do that, but I am going to give you the podium. You're going to give me the podium. Okay, no, no placings, but the three people on the podium. Uh, Jan, Sebi, and Freddie. All right. Women? Uh, Caroline, Daniela, uh, Julia. That's three right there. You don't yeah. need any more. And I really think it's who manages the heat the best. That's going to be the, the big question. It's going to be hot out there, or if you see later, it was hot out there. Hey, and remember those tips, very important. You want to look cool. This might, or whatever Ironman might be, the only one you ever do in your life. So make sure those pictures look good. That's all it is about, the bragging rights after the race and the years coming. Yeah, all right. Exactly, exactly. Paul, My thank friend, you. Thank see you on you. race day, we'll and see you on the road. Bye.